Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Thank you so much for the kind words on my recovery. I appreciate it. Thank you also for subscribing while I was down for the week. Um, my recovery is going well. I did go back to the doctor yesterday and they did their first, uh, I think they call it, oh shoot, br I, they, they call it something. I don't know what it is, but it's debridement. That's what it's called. And uh, it went well, went great. They said I'm doing a great job. So hopefully by my second and my third one, which I will tell you they are not pleasant, but I do feel much better after it. So, um, but hopefully by the time I'm done with this, I will be all better. And I'm going to pre-apologize if I have any sort of sniffle um, or if I have to pause and blow my nose or anything because I'm still leaky, we'll call it. <laughs> so I have some more of this, um, oh goodness, uh, crisp air paper. And I'm not using a lot of it, but I am using the leaf paper, which is the paper that I love, 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 love out of it. So I have these pictures of James and Nora. These are candid shots that my daughter took. She took them to this field by her old house and I mean, I'm sorry, but I love my daughter, but I hate her for being able to take such amazing candid shots. It's so not fair. She actually did this photo set for me because I wanted, um, with my grandkids, I wanted to have each one at this point, I had three grandkids. I had James, Nora, and I had Rosie to hold a letter to spell out joy. Okay, so she took the kids here and did this for for my Christmas card and had a really fun time. As you can see, well, Nora, I think she'd lost something at this point. She was kind of grumpy, but she just did these really adorable pictures of the kids. Thanks, sweetie. So this is the card that came out of it for her. <laughs> she used my stuff for her cards because it turned out so cute. And that's little Luna. I, it's a, um, a wreath with uh, jingle bells. And... I mean, like I bought these letters, I bought the wreath so she could play with them and we were going to send the ones we didn't use to Rosie. And so I have Rosie with the Y pictures that are adorable. I'll have to do something with that too and explain this whole situation. But so this ended up being her Christmas card. I had to come up with something different. I was not impressed, but yeah, isn't that adorable? I love that card. She did so good. I'm not putting this one on here because this is a fall layout, but I do have it. So, you know, it's just cute. But this one of the girls and the boy, girl and boy, sorry, James and Nora on here laughing and just having fun, I think is an amazing candid shot. And yes, I'm very jealous of my daughter. So, and she knows it. I tell her all the time. She, she is so talented. It is amazing. So I decided to go with mink paper and I don't remember what side I went with it is the light side <laughs> I know. sorry having a week off I'm kind of like oh I need to go do stuff although I will say I did a few things while I was recuperating one of them was creating um let's see here I did first you know so I'd done kindergarten preschool prior to it. I did first through eighth grade this way. I actually added some um, glossy accents to the eighth. I'm thinking about doing it to the grade, but I need to put the little dots I want on there first. I also did high school and um, middle school, just those titles. Um, but aren't those so cute? I love this little binder thing. And these files are, I believe, 50 cents on Miss Kate's Cuttables. And you get three, I think for most of them. So it's really, really reasonable and they're really cute, but I did use the three layers. I'm liking that just for this, this one. Normally, of course I don't, but I want to be able to pop this, but I think these turned out fantastic. I probably will add a little something to the, the binders here or the notebooks. I just don't know what I'm doing yet for that grade. So I wanted to wait until I was working on it. So that I did work on. I also I've got everything in trays for them. I ordered this set and I don't know how to show it because they didn't put a backing on it. It's from the stamp market. It is a book. 
So I'm really excited about that because this literally looks like a book and makes a card. There's flowers and then there's letters that say grateful on it. And so I'm excited to play with that too. And here is a printout I did. Um, this is kind of the best picture I could get of this book die um, that I just got. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to use it. So pretty cool. Okay, sorry, that is a file that I have for one of the kids' years. I just haven't finished it yet. So this is a five by seven photo, and these four are, let's see, two and three quarters by um, three and three quarters with the mat. So, and then this is one eighth smaller and one eighth smaller. So that's what I did with the pictures. This paper is out of the kit. And I set it. I am horrible about that. You know that, right? Okay, here it is. It is the paper that you fold back these little bits. Well, I'm not really fond of those. I know a lot of people really like them. I did one of the layouts with it. I just, I don't personally care for it. So I try to use it as solid as I possibly can, kind of hide the spots. But I just went on the end that doesn't have the cuts, and I just trimmed that. So I've got... Four of these at an eighth, because I love this polka dot. I think I would love to have sheets of that polka dot. So I did four of those. This cut file, it was layout 39. I listen, Sorry, my nose is, I can hear the, the nasally sound. So sorry <laughs> about that. Um, so I, uh, layout 39, this is the second version. The first version is summer. And I was kind of looking through some of my cut files, and I thought, oh my gosh, I would love to do, you know, like a summer, spring, autumn, um, let's see, summer, spring, autumn, and winter in this, this format, because I've got the summer one, and I wanted to do another one. So this part is set in stone-ish, <laughs> A-U-T, where's T, there it is, <laughs> I've got a spell. So autumn, across the bottom, A-U-T-U-M-N, where did the end go? I just had it, didn't I? There it is. Okay, so fell in love with this concept. Um, oh, it goes this way. Okay, and um, it, the letters, honestly, were kind of boring looking. And so I started looking through my embossing folders, and I don't even remember which one. This is one, a newer one. It's a fallish one because it has the word harvest right here. It is a Stampin' Up! one. I don't honestly know. I will try to do some research. Looks like it might say holiday right here, too. Um, but I like that it's got a little bit of words and it's got a little bit of roughness to it. And so I'm really happy. Let me hold this up as much as I can. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to pause this just a sec. Okay. My husband will cut out all of my, my sniffles and stuff. Um, so this embossing folder is amazing. It's amazing on these letters. I love it. And I could rough these up if I really wanted to, but I kind of just like the the look that it gave it just by going through it. And it, I love this texture. So I did that. I also cut out these wreaths and all this, of course, will be on the cut file below. Um, I cut out this leaf paper because it is amazing. I mean, this paper, oh my gosh. You know, it's funny because last year when um, fall came around, um, everybody was really into the paper and I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So it wasn't a bad paper. It just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it for my needs. And, um, this year I looked at the paper and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta have it. So it's, it's so crazy what, you know, what, what certain people find their joy out of, you know, or what inspires people because this paper is so inspiring. I, I love it. And I'm liking it a lot on this mink. And I don't think mink was one that was listed. It could be. I have no idea. Um, mocha, nectarine, paprika, peach, pine, sapphire, sundance, toffee, and white daisy. So I actually even thought about using some French vanilla on it. I did use white daisy. But as you can see right next to it, the white is really bright. And this is a little more muted. So I probably should have gone with French vanilla on that. But I did cut two of these, and um, I, I have some ideas of what I want to do, and we'll see what happens. These were a flower. It was in a fall flower when I kind of Googled on, on Cricut 
um, for flowers. This fall flower came up and I thought it was kind of pretty. They did a brown here. I just flipped over the color. Um, when I was doing it, I just made it the same color and then just flipped because um, I wanted the darker color for the flower. So the lighter color is the center. Um, honestly, I would pull it off and do just a circle in brown if you wanted to. This one or the original one had a black or maybe it was just a dark brown um, little strip down this piece. I decided I just liked it as is. And you could use it either side. I did this one in, what did I do this one in? This one is toffee. So we'll see which light or dark I use. Um, did these little guys, I wanted some wheat, which is funny because I'm not supposed to ever eat wheat. And I love anything with wheat in it. Um, but I love wheat stalks. I think they are the coolest. And so I did this in shortbread. And I'm not sure if I'll use it light or the dark. These I did in paprika and Sundance. And I can't remember which cut, which side. We'll see what side ends up being the side we use. I have two of these center bits. And let's see here. Maybe that'll decide what side I use. Yeah, because I've got to use the dark side. No, I don't know. No, looks like this one is the lighter side for this one. Uh, the only thing I'm not loving about this and I, what I would recommend doing on the cut file, and maybe I'll even do it before, is I think I would offset it and have something solid to go behind it because this has... I don't know. It, it doesn't, you know, it just, just doesn't. But where I'm using it probably won't matter. So that's why I didn't kind of force the issue. I did um, cut this out in um, espresso. Wow, sorry. Now, I've had kind of like sinus infection feeling for the last week. And words <laughs> are not great right now. So sorry. The things just don't work in my head as well. Um, which, you know, is probably TMI, but just wanted you to know if I say something wrong, um, more than normal, because of course, you know, my brain doesn't always work, right? Um, or none of ours do, I would have to say that's kind of the new normal anymore, is that I am apologizing ahead of time for more than normal. <laughs> Because, yeah, that um, feeling of having a huge sinus infection for a week is very daunting on your brain. So this is what it, it looks like, but it does. there's nothing to hold it in. So I will do an offset on that one. Uh, then they had these two little acorns, which I thought were adorable. I almost think I want to put a little bit of ink on there. Let me see. I grabbed the toffee, and I'm just going to. I'm just going to put it on here and see. Yeah, it just needs a, a smidge there. Just kind of finished it a little bit. I don't really want a lot of ink on the layout unless I'm going to be inking the whole thing. So that's why I'm just doing a smidge here just as an edge. Oh, much better. I knew it was needing something. Probably needs some little lines too, but maybe... Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Set those aside. Okay, these were cut, um, and I could do light or dark. I intended for light on espresso. The letters are cut in dark espresso. And the paper sizes for this one is three and three fourths by eight and a half. And these are a fourth of an inch. Okay, and they'll be cut down to eight and a half. I think that I got everything. Who knows? Let's just play and see what we can do. I kind of need to keep these little bits right here so that I know where to start the strips. And like I said, I have to cut these down. I just didn't because I was playing with them. I was having fun. So I'm going to start that at three and a fourth and go over here to three and a fourth. Boop. And then I'm just going to put this down. So this base is really super simple. It's a, I don't know, it's a good good base for this type of a layout too because of the fact that you've got um, the words being the showcase, which I always love. I don't know why. This is, I'm so drawn to these layouts like this. Spring, I think, would be the heart. S-P-R-I-N-G. Oh, wait. S-P-R-I-N-G. Oh, that would work. Um, what's winter? W-I-N-T-E-R. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're like, I know what she's going to be doing. 
yes, I will be doing one for every season. Um, it would have been nice kind of, cause I think of autumn as more like fall, but you know, I like the word autumn too. I think it's a nice word. Let's see here. This was where I kind of ran into some trouble because these pictures are a little bigger than they probably should be. I wonder if I was to offset, how would I offset? Mm, how would I do this? Oh, do I like that? I still kind of like them in the boxy method for some reason, but I am not above changing my mind. We'll just leave them there and see what happens. I'm going to build the other side of this page. Okay, so I started it at three and a fourth. Uh-oh, this paper, this one's not even. I don't want to stick that down too much until I get this even. That should work. Okay, three and a fourth to three and a fourth. There we go. And this, oh, isn't that beautiful? It's just beautiful. I mean, the backside's cool too. Pumpkins are nice. I, I don't know. It is what it is, but the leaf side, oh my gosh, it has my heart and my soul. I just love it. Probably being raised in Oregon and seeing this style of leaf all the time. You don't see as much here, but in Oregon, they definitely have fall. <laughs> but I love the grasses here, how dark they are with the browns and, and stuff. And I thought this paper was just perfect for this. Sadly, for as much as I love fall, I don't have as many pictures as I would like to have for fall. Now, I thought that was kind of cool doing that. I liked the picture layout. And I wasn't planning on putting anything above with the pictures. I was planning on doing all of the embellishments down here. And I just kind of cut stuff, kind of overcut stuff, you know, how it goes. And I thought, I'll just trim or omit as needed. Um, one of the things I was thinking was I like the wreath down here, but I kind of don't. So let's play with it up here. <gasps> oh, I do like that wreath up there. I love a good, good wreath. I don't know why. Um, what if I put the wreath under the pictures, but into the letters over here? The hard part is the color isn't that much of a different for the light, the dark on on that, which is so funny because normally I'm like, oh, it's such a good difference. You know, you've got you've got it. And I use espresso a lot. And for this one, though, it, the color is not like, oh, that's different. But I kind of like that. I kind of like it. We'll just see, though. Let me see here if I move it up. What I think. We'll lift that up a little smidger. Okay. I do want to let everybody know, though, that if you do have to have deviated septum surgery, don't, I mean, I was terrified before I went in. I'm not going to lie. I, I was. I'm, I'm a big chicken. Um, it was one of the best things I've ever done. I feel so much better in comparison to where I was a little over a week ago. And so even though I'm still dealing with a little bit of the repercussions of the procedure, uh, the amount of relief I have felt since having it, oh, man. Even dealing with, you know, feeling like you have a sinus infection for a week, nothing compared to what I was dealing with. Okay, so this was kind of where I was headed with these. In fact, I've cut another set of this for James. And I have I have some pictures of James. There they are. I know. I have a, a smaller picture of them as well. But I have this picture of James. <laughs> this one. He's so silly. And this one. And then I would use this one right here and this. So those will be the pictures I use for his his layout. Um, but I stole his uh, little bits here and his this, so I'll have to cut more of those out. 
So be prepared. I will um, add more to the cut file, but you might be like, oh, I need multiples. <laughs> kind of was thinking this for the use. I don't know why. I, again, I don't know why some things are like, oh, this is what this feels like. I just kind of roll with it a lot and end up really liking how my brain said to use it. That doesn't sound right. I like how it ends up being. Let's see here. It's hard to play with it when you have the the poppy tape on there. Okay. How do I want this? I want this one higher. <laughs> there is a method to my madness right now. I want that like that. And then I want this, but then I want at the top. I don't want it on both sides to pop over things. I just want it on one side. Okay, this one right here. I liked the A with an acorn. The problem is this top part right here matches this one. <laughs> so I might have to cut some more stuff here. Okay, well, we've got that little there, that little bit, and we've got a little flower here. And it might be that I just steal more from James's so we can finish this one. Let's see here. That little bit. You know what, the flower, I'm going to take off some of this pop tape I put on here. So part of it's popped and it just kind of rests on here because, yeah, I like that better. Okay, did kind of moosh it a little bit. And then we've got this leaf. So if we put that kind of under and over and do the same with taking this off here. How would I do that? I kind of want to flip this one. I've assembled James. Let's see here. Let me look here. Uh, I'm not liking that. So, let me look here. Could, maybe if I could I do here? What can I do? Because I'm kind of feeling like I might need to put these acorns up there, but I still need something for this M. Let me grab James's pile. Yeah, I haven't even done his, um, his bits over here. Oh, what if I took and did this the opposite way? You can see it a little bit better. Grab my adhesive. And try that. That's going to add three acorns, which I'm sorry, you can have as many acorns as you want, right? I do need the, the ink, though, to add a little ink to that one. And yes, you can use a dauber or something and it'd probably be easier, but it's just, I'm not putting a lot on there, so it's no biggie to me. Let's see, get that little edge. There we go. Put that away. Again, I use toffee ink. Um, I like that. Okay, I think that's doable. Let me see if I should, oh, I think I'll tuck it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let me look. Let's Poor James's layout. I'm going to have to cut a lot of stuff for him. Okay. Let me take a look. I think I like it. And I, you know, at first, I know I mentioned I didn't want to put anything up here and I hadn't planned to, but I think the wreaths up here make this stand out a little more instead of trying to put the wreath down here. And I think it's because of the color. It was drawing too much of the same and it wasn't giving me that, um, what would the word be? Oh, uh, goodness. I can't think of the word that I'm thinking. I'm not saying clash. Can't think of the word. If I think of it, I will have my husband put it up on the screen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Again, bear with me on that. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this side. And then we'll work on that side. 
And I, I really do think I want those that way. Okay. Ooh, this one's going to be fun to put glue on. Let's I just add. And I, of course, make being, you know, not the smartest by putting the adhesive, this wet glue while it's, you know, upside down on the actual layout. Do not follow what I'm doing. It's not smart. <laughs> it's the easiest way to make a mistake. Okay. Let's see, maybe even put it down a little more. Oh, when I was assembling all of those school titles, oh my goodness, my hands were covered. I was covered in ink, or ink, glue. The white stuff I was just playing with. It was kind of interesting because I kept having to like go like this and then I would try to assemble something else and it was not going well because my hands were so sticky. So I had a bag of butt wipes next to me or baby wipes and uh, I just kept trying to clean up my hands as much as possible. I had glue everywhere, but I had fun. I just, I couldn't do a video because my voice was really bad. And if I sound too nasally right now, I am so sorry. I'm trying not to, but I am what I am. It is what it is, however you want to take it. Let's see here, I think. The thing I don't care for is how high up that is. I don't like how high up the photo is, but I didn't want to cut and have the photos odd sizes. I wanted to kind of keep them symmetrical. That, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I still have to trim that. I'm going to trim part of it right now just because it's so long and it's kind of taking away from what I want to see. Oh, well, I've got it out. I'm going to snip these over here, too. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this little guy right there. I do like that over there. That's cute. Okay. Now, for this part, this one is going to be my... I'm just going to move that. <laughs> I'll scooch that down, too. Okay, we've got pop tape removal. Yay! Now, I'm really excited for this layout. I And it's looking as good as I hoped it would in my mind. And I could only hope when it's all adhered down that it looks amazing. I'm crossing my fingers. Because oh, I love this paper. If you have not bought this paper yet, you need to go get it. Also, um, just a heads up, I was looking at the Rewards Your Way, and there is some school acrylics that I am getting. I've never, you know, I shouldn't say that. I, I'm not big on the Rewards Your Way stuff because a lot of it I don't need. Um, it's, you know, kind of cool for if it fits what you're working on, but it hasn't been stuff I've been like, oh, I have to have that. Well, I take that back. There was some mice at one point that I had to have, but luckily enough, I was not a maker at the time, and my um, my maker, my upline, who is up my upline now, she was sending me the mice anyway, and I was like, yes! So I didn't have to order them. Um, but these acrylics that they have, the shapes, I will see here. I don't know. I get the catalog on my next order. When I get that, I will share that. They also have some autumn shapes that are using, let's see if I can remember. It was mocha, melon, and another color. It might have been toffee. Um, I want adhesive, adhesive for this. They are amazing, too. Oh, and it was glitter. It was mocha glitter paper, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. And the other color was, it was a glitter paper. Maybe it was espresso. I'm sorry, I mentioned these and now I'm like messing up their information. If I can, I will add a picture. Um, where would I add it? I'll add it right here. I'll, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try to add that. Um, so here is a printout that I did of the 
school day embellishments and the autumn embellishments. Aren't those amazing? Hope you enjoy that one. Okay, let's get these little guys down. Okay, I'm just going to go for it and glue these. I, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I know. I'm cheating by keeping them completely assembled the way they were. Okay, now let's see if I can actually put the U on there and then lift them up and over. Because I didn't put adhesive on the top part, only at the bottom. It might work. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Please work, please work. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So I want to go here. Don't touch, don't touch. Oh, I want this straight. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. And lift this up. <gasps> Ooh, it's even better than when I was playing with it. I'm going to glue this little bitty down, though, because it looks like it could be problematic, but I'm not going to glue down the, the wheat. And then I'll have to trim this a little bit or just remove it. Since I moved it so many times, it's not going to stay anyway. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> I love it. I love it. But I do believe that this would have been better with that other piece. And this is only staying in place because it has a pop tape underneath there. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that? Oh, wait. The M is so close. You know what? I can do this. I can move this. The M is a little closer than I would like. Come on, please, 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 please. I'll fast forward through that bit or I will omit it. <laughs> we'll just jump and we'll be where I want it to be. Okay, by magic, it's better. It's fixed. Set that one aside. And now let's do this one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Doesn't need a lot, which is nice. Okay. Because the picture really does hold it in place. It's just better to have a little bit of adhesive on it. I know. I'm going to get it all over my fingers. Let's see here. Let's just kind of lay that there. I'm going to grab the photo, put it down real quick so that I can kind of lift that up a smidger up there to put this on around the photo. Or just, you know, run it all over the page and play with it. Is that pretty even? It looks pretty even. I still like this down here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Yep. And let's put the T on. And let's hope that this goes a little smoother. Oh, you know what, though? I need to make sure I've got enough room. There we go, for this flower. I do really like the flower. That's cute. Oh goodness, that you. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to do, huh? Okay, I'm gonna put the A down and then we'll work on the U. Although that other one did work out really well. I was very impressed. It was the M and the N that I ended up having to play with more than probably should have. Get that. That's going to be too much space. Stay on there. Those little ones will not leave. Okay. That looks pretty good. I think I want to put a little movement on this one. And that might even hold down the, the espresso little bits. It'll help with that. Come on. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. There we go. Okay. And 
I'm just going to use the other bit to hold that down. To the U. I'm just going to do it the same way I did the other one, where I just put some glue at these bottom little bits. And hope that they're in kind of the rightish area. Take off the stickies. Ooh, I wonder if shimmer brush would even help with that a little bit. I'll have to pull out the shimmer brushes. I got a new case for my shimmer brushes. If I haven't already shared that, I don't know if I did or not. Everything kind of was happening all at once. I think I want this one down. Yeah little bit of adhesive on that and then I'm going to grab those shimmer brushes for this so I got the bigger case that holds the stamps because I was getting it was getting too hard to go looking for everything so I put them in the rows that they kind of came in you know like this would be group one group two and group three in colors. And then anything that is new that was, you know, of course in group three would go in group three. Anything that's old that was in group three, I'm keeping in groups, group three. Whoa. Um, would I want to use the clear one? I have never used the clear one for theirs. What's this one? That's mocha. Yeah, I need to get, of course, more now because here's the paprika. And what other colors would possibly work? Oh, peach? Nah, maybe. Actually, maybe on the peach. I'm going to grab some paper. Okay, well, my paprika has one little bitty scrap in it. And this one I'm going to move. Now let's take the peach. Let's start with that one. And put this on here. Oh, which side? It's the dark side. So let's go over here. Okay, well that's the peach. There's the clear. Oh, and I opened that. I messed that up. Okay, I'm kind of liking the clear more than the peach. Let's try the paprika. Ooh, that's got a little bit of darkness to it. I think I want to do the paprika for the center and the the clear. Oh, I'm kind of liking the peach one now that it's I think the peach. Okay, so not the clear. So let's do peach for this bit. I like that. Okay, so we use peach. And then I'm going to do paprika for the center. That's definitely giving it that darkness that I was kind of wanting. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Great. Fantastic. I'm loving this. Now let's put it together and let's see what it looks like. Oh. <gasps> Oh, how fun. Oh my goodness. This is such a fun layout. And I'm glad I changed this to the lighter side. It looks really good right next to it. And this being not right on, right onto it. The contrast, the contrast. I will put that word earlier too. Contrast um, between the light and the dark here is, is sufficient. Um, I did map these pictures. This one again is five by, oh, this one is five and a fourth by seven and a fourth because I did the pictures five by seven. Um, and those are all matted on dark espresso. If I didn't say that earlier, Oh my goodness. I am loving this. Absolutely loving this. Okay. I'm going to bring it up so I can show you a little closer. Look at the shimmer on that little flower. 
And it's not too much. It's just a little bit of shimmer. But oh gosh, and these will be, right now I'm just gonna push them back so I don't have to deal with it, but I will trim those. There we go, there we go. And there's that one. And maybe even some shimmer brush on some of the other bits. I just wanted it on the flower. This would be another great one to maybe map the background in maybe the espresso. But I'm really, really happy with this layout. I'm just always looking for ways I can improve. So I'm not always just doing the same layout. But with this one, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I love this layout. Thank you so much for all your kind words again and for sharing this with me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.